September monthly favorites is coming at you. Hi friends, so many of you had said that you've been missing Ollie, so I wanted to get him in here to say hi, and as soon as I did, little girl thought she better say hi. She'd been rolling outside, and so she's like, I need to get in on this too, Mom. So Lacey thought she'd say hi this morning. Thanks so much for stopping by. We're doing September favorites, and I am super excited about it because I have a ton of stuff. Not only do I have a ton of stuff, but I also have several fails that I want to share with you today. So let's get into the video and it's going to be speed reviews. Let's talk about hair. I have been loving my hair at this length. I, when it was a little bit shorter, I couldn't, you know, pull it up when I got really hot, but this length seems to be really good for me. And today I don't know what happened to it, but it went curly. It went really, really curly as I was using my curling iron to do it. And yes, I am going to be bringing you guys a video all about my hair. And I think I'm pretty sure that this product right here is kind of responsible for how bouncy and lovely this is today. This is the L'Oreal L Vive Wonder Water Hair Transforming Rinse Out Treatment. And get my glasses on. It says that it has, I don't know how that you even say that, L-A-M-E-L-L-A-R, like my cellar, but with an L. Uh, wonderful, silkier, shinier hair, no silicone, no way down. And it doesn't. It doesn't weigh you down. It makes your hair so silky soft. Now, it does shine a little bit on the hair. I mean, you can see a little bit of shine in my hair, but more than anything, it just made my hair so soft. I have my windows open today, and I live by an Air Force base, and you guys are hearing the jets, so I apologize for that. I've been enjoying this so much. It's super silky in your hair. It does kind of lather up, which I thought was weird. I'm still in love with the John Frieda glaze that I I have talked about so many months and I kind of used that up and when I went to reorder it this was there so I thought I'm gonna try this and I was just really surprised at how much it did for my hair so I really am liking that and it's a clear product it doesn't have any it's very watery it doesn't weigh anything down it's just great another hair product that I bought this month on the recommendation of one of you guys and I thank you so much is the Kerastase this is called initial initial least I guess this is uh, a concentrate advanced scalp hair formula to help stimulate hair growth and lessen hair breakage. I really love this. I've been using it for four weeks now. You use it when your hair is wet right after you've washed. So for me, that doesn't mean that I use it every day. It's something like every other day or every third day, depending on when I do wash my hair. And it doesn't make my hair feel like it's weighed down like some other scalp treatments do. And I have been noticing even little sprouts up here where my hair is really thinning just, and even, you know, while at my part, I've been noticing that I've had little hairs that I've had to kind of tame down with hairspray or whatever because it's like, you know, like helping my hair sprout up a little bit. So I'm enjoying this. I really am. And I don't know about it making my hair stronger, but I'm not noticing as much breakage, which could be some vitamins that I'm actually taking right now from City Beauty that are supposed to be for your skin, but they're doing great things for my nails and my um, hair as well. So switching gears into some skincare. I've talked about this from Good Molecules. This is the Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. I've talked about this on my channel a lot. This is a, a powder that comes out in your hand. You put it in your hand, you put a little bit of water, and then you rub it into a paste, or you can rub it into a wash, and then you wash your face with it, and you can use it as an exfoliator. But this has replaced my morning cleanser, which I'm so excited about because I really love having the skin slough off in the morning. I have have a lot of sloughing. I make sure that my skin is turning over all the time, whether that is from my tretinoin or whether it's from another product, which I'll show you another one that helps slough right now. But I really enjoy having in the morning, being able to get that dead skin off from whatever's happened at night. And then my skin just looks so much better. Instead of it being gritty or grainy, you can really make this into a very, very soft wash across your face. And I have just been falling in love with this all over again. 
almost done with this bottle and re ready to repurchase my next one. Really love that stuff. Then the other skincare product I have, which I reached out to City Beauty and asked them if they would send this to me, and they did. This is the Dermal Reset Exfoliating Concentrate. And I talked to you about this earlier in the month on eight things that I believe that women, I think it was eight, eight things that I believe that women make as a mistake. And one of them is not exfoliating your skin enough. You don't want to make your skin so raw or sensitive that you're miserable obviously but using something like this once a week twice a week however much your skin can handle it or a glycolic acid or something like that these products are fantastic for helping your skin look bright and just helping that dead skin layer we have something like 10 to, to 15 18 layers of our skin is dead it's like some phenomenal amount of the top of our layers of our skin are dead so making sure that i slough that dead skin off is important to me because it's the fresh pretty new skin underneath that we want to show through and that's what ages us when we have so much dead skin and using it twice a week at night has really helped brighten my skin i'm just really pleased with the results i also did a video all about the angie hot and flashy set of brushes with bk beauty and it's no secret that I am in love with these. I think they're such good brushes. I especially like these two tiny little, uh, they are fluffy blending brushes and they're very, very small and they work perfect for hooded eyes or if you want to just really be concentrated in one area plus they blend out like a dream they're a little bit softer and then i fell absolutely head over heels in love with this little brush that is for concealing it works so good to get into this crevice right here and then it's really soft to be able to just tap out all of my under eyes i don't wear a lot of concealer but i do wear a corrector and then i do put my foundation up underneath there and that brush has just been so good and when i found that one or when i used this one and i haven't stopped using it i realized that in my collection i also have another brush that you guys need to know about this brush is an ulta brush and it is a it's called precision foundation brush so if you can't really pick up that whole set um, and you don't need all those brushes but you'd like to try that little brush in there this one is let me just compare it for you so this one is the one from bk beauty right here and then this one is the one from ulta they are shaped the same they had that very tapered uh effect right there on the end see the one from ulta just i just pulled a hair out of there you will never find a hair missing from a bk beauty brush that is the quality of them but i wanted to show you these two and the difference in the size of them so that you could see that yes you could use this underneath it's not quite as soft i will tell you that the bk beauty one is super soft so i find that if you're using it underneath your eyes for concealer there's no micro exfoliating go on which can go on with brushes if you do have sensitive skin and it can kind of show up a little bit of texture but this is something to try if you're thinking about you know you might want to try the bk beauty brushes these two products right here and one is a blush from kiko milano and the other one is their sculpting touch contour stick I love both of these. I love the texture of these. The contour stick has been so good. It's what I'm wearing today for not only my contour, but my bronzer as well. I just, you know, a little bit darker up there in the hairline and to carve things out and then just kind of buffed it around. Beautiful color. Oh my goodness, beautiful color. The one thing I will say, I don't know if this is on all of them, but the one I got doesn't want to roll down, so I just have to stick my finger up there and push it down so it doesn't get in the lid at all. I love that color for somebody that is cool toned or neutral toned and you don't like a ton of warmth. This is great. And then the other one, I think this is called Velvet Rose 07. I think it's called Velvet Rose. This is their blush, and this is what I have on for blush today as well. And so much fun. These products are super duper creamy. They are really easy to work with, really easy to blend. You can build them up or you can shear them out, whichever works best for you. And they just make the most beautiful wash of color across my skin. So easy to blend together too. The two of them go really well together like they are on my cheeks. I just have really fallen in love with the Kiko Milano cream products. I'm getting ready to try the highlighter 
I do have a bunch of Kiko Milano products that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, I think in a dedicated video because I'm kind of in love with this line right now. And you saw some of my loves in last month's favorites as well. Okay, I didn't talk to you about this during the skincare, but I'm about to change your dry skin girl life. If you are a dry skin girl, actually, I don't care if you're from oily skinned or if you're too dry skinned. This oil, that I purchased on a recommendation from one of you subscribers is probably the best. I think it was Anne Marie. If it was you, Anne Marie, let me know. I, this is the best thing I have purchased in months for skincare. It is the Everyday Emu Oil. This is a super refined emu oil. Now, when, it, when she told me about it, she said that her dermatologist said that emu oil is one of the oils that is best absorbed by the skin because the oil molecule is super small. And I'm like, okay, I've tried tons of oils, marula oil, I've tried Moroccan argon oil, I've tried I've tried so many squalane, I've tried a million oils. And I got this and I started to rub this into my hand, just on the back of my hand. That's all I did at the beginning. And I'm like, Ooh, this feels good. It felt hydrating. It didn't feel greasy. And I was just like, wow, this feels really great. And then it just sunk into my skin. And then all I was left with was this super duper silky feeling on my skin. And I was like, holy smokes. I can't wait to share this with everybody. This is fantastic. This is a two ounce bottle. It wasn't that expensive. I'm ready to get a four ounce bottle because they, not only do they say that emu oil is really great for the skin and my skin is looking, look at my neck. I mean, my neck, I feel like it's super soft, super supple every single night, every single morning. I'm just taking a little bit of that oil and I'm rubbing it in. And I just have been noticing that my neck is soft and supple. It's not really helping with getting it tighter or you know taking away these bands of you know wrinkles i have but wow the softness on it and if you have trouble underneath your eyes of getting enough moisture there put this on same thing you know just tap it in for a few minutes it's so good i've been rubbing it into my cuticles it also, what I started to say was it also is really good for pain relief. My husband, as soon as I got it and I'm like telling him about it and I'm like wide eyed and saying, honey, I cannot believe how wonderful this is for skin. He started saying that they tout this on the radio all the time as he's driving about it being wonderful for pain. And he has plates, uh, steel plates in his legs from getting in an accident. And I would rub this on him. It worked wonders. It's so good. So if you have a lot of pain, if you have arthritis pain, maybe in your hands or your feet, maybe give this a try. It's not very expensive. I personally haven't experienced that yet, but he said that he did. And the growth in my fingernails and how great my cuticles look and how soft my hands are, you know what? Last month I talked about the hardest hoof that I've been using for my nails and my hands. And what I do is I'll take a drop of this in with the hardest hoof, mix it together. And oh man, my hands just feel soft and supple and smooth. And my fingernails love it. They haven't been splitting and cracking. So yeah, this is probably the best thing that I've bought in such a long time. And as far as skin goes, this has just been fantastic. You could mix it in with your moisturizer at night or a little bit in the morning with your foundation. Wayne Goss swears by foundation with a teeny tiny bit of oil and it works wonders. A couple more things and then I'm done for the month. Let's go through these fairly quickly. The Fenty Ease Drops, that is her foundation drops. I'm in love with this. It's what I have on my skin today on this side. And then on this side, I'm using the Burt's Bees um, Goodness Glows on this side, the foundation. Now, I love the Fenty. It's super light. It's super easy to work with. The coverage is fantastic. Um, if you need to go back in and get a little bit more coverage, you can just on certain spots. This is a little bit thicker from Burt's Bees. And this one from Fenty lasts all day. I mean, I have my foundation on all day long. This one from Burt's, it will wear off during the day, but it doesn't wear off funky where you get patchy or anything like that. It's quite pretty. I really do like this one. If you're looking for one that is for dry skin and that is got a little bit of a glow in it, a little bit more hydration. This is great. But the Fenty, as far as lightweight, 
how long it lasts, how much it covers, how beautiful it looks on my textured, mature skin. This has just kind of stolen my heart. So for a high end, this is really great. And then for something you can pick up at the drugstore, this has been really good too. I did want to tell you all that my loved X Lash Serum has come back finally after COVID and all the things that have happened. But now it's definitely back in stock on Amazon. You can get it. I do think that they raised the price just a little bit because of how hard it is to get um, ingredients and stuff. But for me, if you've been with me for very long, you know that it's the only thing that I can use on my lashes and just make my lashes look fantastic. Last thing that I want to talk about, I did a whole video on Sephora makeup, but I want to talk about this again because every time I pull this out, I love this. Not only do I love that it's a lip plumper gloss from the Sephora collection. I love the cooling effect that it has, but this has the most beautiful, this is called Starstruck Pink. This has the most beautiful little reflect in it. It's got just a hint of pink, but you put that on your lips and it just brightens my lips up. Any lip gloss that I, or any lipstick that I have on, it brightens them up. It makes them look super juicy. I know a lot of you aren't into gloss, but I'm an 80s girl. I'm going to forever be an 80s girl, and I feel naked without gloss on. So I'm going to continue to wear it because it makes me feel happy. And yeah, this is one of my very favorite glosses, and I wanted to tell you about it again. Let's talk about product fails. I have a ton of foundation fails. They were either patchy, turned orange, they got, they just muddled, the, whatever, too thick, Let's talk about Too Thick, Danessa Myricks. I had heard so much about her foundation and I really wanted to love it, but it was so thick on my skin and it showed up too much texture. texture. So that one I had to say no to. Same thing with the Huda Beauty. I was excited to try this. This one was actually sent to me, but it just, it fell so short. It was so thick and it showed up so much texture. It wore away patchy. I couldn't do it. And then the one from Clinique, this one, it's the even better skin. There's a lot of people that love this. This one was a lot thinner, but it turned super orange on me super quickly, oxidized so fast on my skin. So it was one that I couldn't recommend either. Our Beauty has a new spray out that's supposed to be a powder matte spray. I love Flower Beauty. I love their sprays normally. I love everything they do, but recently Flower Beauty has not been impressing me, and this is one of those products that didn't. When you spray it, it's almost like, like when you do a dry shampoo on your hair, it almost comes out like that. And then when you feel it on your hand, you can feel that there's something there. There's some sort of powder there, but it doesn't do anything. There's nothing that happens with my face. It doesn't get mattified. There is a residue. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that or not, but there is a residue that comes, especially if you happen to pat your face while that is just a tiny bit wet. So it's a white cast that I don't appreciate. And I just didn't feel like it sat my makeup down. I don't feel like this is as innovative as I wish it had been because I was really intrigued when I uh, got that one. I another one that was sent to me. This is another thing that was sent to me that I was not impressed with. The e.l.f. Big Mood or yeah, Big Mood. e.l.f. did a uh, mascara right before this one, which I can't remember, which is going to go up on the screen. But they did that other mascara, which I absolutely love that mascara. It, it has been one that has lived in my drawer. I repurchased it twice. It's a great mascara, but this Big Mood one, number one, this brush is humongous. I don't like it. It my eyes are not big and you know they they're kind of deep set but they're not big eyes so and you guys know that i have that shaking problem so i go in and i inevitably get this everywhere because that brush is so big can't do that the other thing and i don't know why everybody loves it it will not build up it won't build up i know that so many of my friends are in love with this mascara and they talk about it not flaking it flaked on me it smudged on me I don't know what I did wrong. I mean, I wore this for a week straight because so many of my friends were on YouTube saying, this is a fantastic mascara. I'm so glad they did it. For me, it was like, come on, what am, what's wrong with my eyes? Anyway, this just, it did not work for me. I think that that is my last product to talk about. I talked about a ton of things today. I know this video is gonna be a bit long, but I wanted to get all of these in because like I said, I did miss a couple videos this month because of how I've been feeling, but I hope that you did enjoy what I showed you today. I hope that you did get some recommendations out of it, maybe something you've been thinking about. So please tell me in the comment section if you've tried any of these things or if you're thinking about trying any of them 
Also, please tell me if you've tried anything really spectacular that you think I should know about because I'm here to tell you two products that I tried this month are from you viewers and I am so excited. I want you guys to always tell me about things that you're excited about because then I get to bring them to everybody and I get to share our mutual love of beauty. Thanks so much for being with me. I hope that you're all having a really great day. Love you all very, very much. And I'll catch you all again in my next video. Video. Goodbye, my friends.